Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. My husband Alan will welcome you, but I wanted to just let you know what's happening right now is a ribbon cutting ceremony. The Chamber of Commerce has been kind enough to come and give us a ribbon cutting ceremony. So get ready! Yay. I get to say a word as well. <laughs> a word of thanks for everyone for coming and especially thanks for my wonderful wife who is always ready for a new adventure. And I always tease that every five or seven years, Midge insists on moving homes or doing something different again and reinventing herself. And after a long career in the center of Manhattan, uh, Midge has decided to go to work on her abstract expressionist painting. And I, I grew into that. And, and I've so loved watching the last 15 years or so that this has really developed and now developed into this. And really developed thanks to our dear friend, LaShawn Crone, who's here, who we so want to thank you really seriously from the bottom of our hearts for your support. It's what really has done it for us. And, and uh, thanks to the Chamber of Commerce for the great work that they're doing. We're ready for our ceremony, yay. <laughs> and, and our photographer, Mara, and our dear friend, Mara, uh, from Mara Gallery. Thank you. And our musicians. And all of you. <laughs> <laughs> the big scissors. <laughs> you are <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it's Osprey, it doesn't special matter. thanks again to the Osprey Nicolas Chamber of Commerce and the great people representing <laughs> And we're proud to be here. We're proud to be here. Welcome to the Osprey Community. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I believe. Okay. Good. Okay. <laughs> Here's another one that I, that I made up, and uh, this is called Living the Life. Living the life that I love. Beethoven. This is a piece from Beethoven, his opus 27, number two, known as his Moonlight Sonata. But this is the last movement of the Moonlight Sonata, actually. And this is a good example of Beethoven as a young whippersnapper composer. Uh, he's in his early 20s here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
would do the Lindy tune. This is uh, where if you're going to dance to this, you would throw the person over your shoulder and that kind of thing, right? The wild Lindy dancing. And this is called the Bumble Hook on Jack. dream come true for me. I finally get to practice my art and have a place for people to appreciate it and I can share it now with the world. But even better than that, I'm now working with my husband who is an incredible talent pianist and um, we're actually doing performances together and writing the content and um, it's just a whole new phase of our relationship. So it's a new career, it's a new phase with my husband, it's a new place for us. We've only been here in Florida a few years uh, and part-time, but now we'll be coming full-time. Yeah, you, uh, you're definitely becoming a full-time, you know, that's kind of, yeah. yeah. This is a commitment. Uh, Great. So how long have you been in this particular spot? Um, we, we purchased the spot in May and we renovated it. Tell me about, so let me, let, I see you have very high ceilings here. Yeah, we have very high And what did it look like when you moved in? Uh, it was a, um, a bohemian um, clothing, uh, women's clothing, bohemian. So it had a cement floor that was scuffed up. Um, it was not elegant. The light fixtures were um, big straw baskets. Um, and it was lovely for that look. The back room was just a storage area. It was just dark, um, manufacturer, manufacturer shelving, like that steel shelving. And so we said, well, we're going to have to make it a little more upscale. So we hired a contractor who actually might be here. His name is Al. And um, did some changes to it. We didn't knock down walls or anything like that. But we put in a floor, we painted, we uh, patched certain things. Um, we moved in a piano. We created a, we moved in the piano. We did a lot, a lot with lighting because art requires really good lighting. We could have mounted a TV up there for us and we had the ability to connect into it from afar. And here, if we want to move over here, 
Hold on, hold on. Paint large, and I like to paint on the wall. Well, many artists paint on an easel, mm -hmm. but I like to see it like this way, and I like to be able to really hit it hard and sand it and uh, just do all sorts of things. So when my contractor heard that I do that, he's like, well, these walls are kind of flimsy. They have um, metal beams that are not really good for holding weight. So he put a plywood section here and then he covered it with Formica so that I can wash off any paint easily because I'm a sloppy painter. But I love my painting area. I put my drop cloth down when I do it. I have a cart that I bring out with all my paints. And when I paint small, I paint on this desk. And, um, Formica, I, it's come back. Jeez, yeah, I haven't heard Formica, Formica in years. Yeah, Formica, <laughs> see, there's still a good use for Formica. And you met LaShawn? LaShawn, yes. I videotaped you at the at your art gallery. Yeah. Or the I one think that she you... said, hey, cameraman. <laughs> Hey, yeah, she's like, she walked up to me, she hey, said, cameraman. who are you? That's <laughs> what, what you said. You, you said, what you, who are you? And what are you videotaping? <laughs> <laughs> now you know. So, well, I'm glad you mentioned the back. Can we see the back? That's the one room yes, I haven't let's actually go been to. Yeah, so we've actually made this part of the gallery. Right. Um, it used to be dark. It had metal shelving, and she had a lot of merchandise. She did a lot of mail order sales. So that was her clothing showroom retail up front, but back here she did all of her packing. So there was plenty of like garments, and it was just not so good back here. So we cleaned it up nicely, I hope, and we use it as part of the gallery, but it's also where we can entertain. We have a place for refreshments and a kitchen area to clean up after ourselves or store things in a refrigerator. And then and this and is my workroom. I use this room mostly for when I film myself painting oh. to put on YouTube. So I put my work flat and I have a microphone and a camera there that my husband set up for me. Wow. And I all I have to do is bring my computer and a little gizmo, whatever it's called, and just click it in. I'm not very technically uh, adept with that sort of thing. And uh, oh, well, LaShawn Hunger paints. Um, it's fantastic. Love the way that looks. Alan, my husband, who is a pianist and I never knew in the 30-something years we've been together, could put Ikea cabinets together. <laughs> so who knew? You, this is what I'm saying. It's a whole new relationship. He puts Ikea cabinets together for me. So that's been a, a, it's been a labor of love, Michael. It really has. Cool. Well. And so when I varnish or I have to, you know, let things dry overnight, I use this area for that. Yeah, this is a nice floor for some place where you paint. I yes, mean, and I have to be, I am very careful. Although it's, um, it's a vinyl floor and it, the paint does come up. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I have unfortunately gotten paint on the floor. Try not to. But um, it's good that it does come right up. So. Oh, and what's this right here? This is a canvas of LaShawn's, I believe, that has gotten a little damaged in our move, and she will be repainting and repairing it. Yeah, it's an unfinished painting of hers, and unfortunately it was damaged when we moved. Oh. She's working on it. You can see she has her sketch in already. Okay. Um, and it's just a little nick here, but she does have a way of repairing that. So. So we're hoping that we don't nick it again. It's very hard to move artwork. It just, it's so delicate. It looks like it's sturdy, but it, at any little, well, you know I shipped a painting to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it got messed up. Uh, well, I'm, I'm counting the notes I'm playing, you see, and then I divide them by like the money I'm making, and, and I'm getting ripped off. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, Alan, and we're getting ready to put an ending on this. It was a pleasure. I, you know, you're you're Thanks, like. Guys. Tell me about what you do here with Mitch. Uh, I practice all day while Mitch paints. Um, but our idea is to be doing programs where we're uh, doing intra arts programs. So we want to do some of showing the difference between painting to Beethoven versus painting to Debussy, and how that's going to affect abstract expressionism. Uh, we also want to do, be doing programs on history of expressionism and, and history of different movements. 
and I hope to continue what I do with uh, uh, programs on individual composers. So it seems so. like you and Mitch have cornered the, the, the talent of both music right. and and uh, and art. You know, I mean, that, you haven't left that, anything over for well, the rest of us. Welcome to Osprey. Very rude. We're, we're hoping <laughs> that uh, Osprey's going to boom nowadays. All right. Yeah. And, and I think it is, right? Yeah. So thanks so much. Thanks, Mike Schwartz, for being here. All right. So appreciated. Peace. Crab meat. R.I.P.